Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zell. So today I'm here on the floor and we're just gonna do I think I have eight plants to repot and all of these plants badly needed a new home because they've been drying up like so quickly after just a few days of watering them. So first I have here my Caledendron strawberry shake. So yeah, I need to put this on a pole too because it's already it's on this four inch pot and it's already like not stable. But can you see all of those uh, leaves that has nicely variegated? And next is. This a uh, teddy teddy bear teddy bear teddy bear vine that is like crusty. I don't know if uh, oh some of this is still nice blueberry. So I'm gonna put it in a different pot because I I'm gonna try to put this this kitty a million hearts variegated on this spot and then I can hang this on the shelf on the master's bedroom. So yeah. This started as a little plants from my plant friend. And now it's already trailing. So yeah. And then this one I don't I don't know what happened to this plant. I watered this yesterday but this used to be so pretty on my mouse book cabinet and it just started to like look like this like well wilting the leaves so i'm gonna try to repot this to and check the roots i'm looking for a bug or something so yeah uh this is a peperomia frosted uh peperomia frosted so and this one is my uh, staghorn fern that I got from Lowe's last year, I think it was last year. Yeah, made a repot too. Cause oop, <laughs> so, so yeah, put it back in here, and there on the side here. I don't wanna touch it cause it's already like falling. <laughs> uh, my red emerald feather drone, and on the back here I have this. Uh, Variegated, what's this? Ficus benjamina. This is this too is on my husband's office. So this one is the bomb, Fidelific Bambino. So yeah, I uh, have yeah eight plants to repot. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's start with this uh painting. What is it painting, lady? Uh, strawberry shake. So I have here, oop, this moss pole, not really a moss pole, it's like a totem pole that I'm going to use for this because it, yeah. And then this is the part that I'm going to put it on. It's not a, I don't think it's a ceramic. It's not a ceramic, but it's, I don't know what kind of material is that but I have trash bag here so I watered this yesterday because it's oh, see the truth so maybe I don't need to remove any of this because I don't really wanna. <laughs> yeah, let's put a little bit of. Oh, soil, soil, and then 
Ugh. Run need to disturb the roots a little bit. Yeah, I got this from Etsy for my birthday. It's just actually a free plant because uh, they messed up uh, my order. So they kind of just give me a free plant. Uh, this and my variegated money tree. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It looks fine. Yeah. So I've got this with three, these three bottom leaves. One, two, this, the one that is, has damage on it. And yeah, already one, two, three, four, five, five leaves since I got it. I think this most this pool is not <laughs> we I think I need a bigger bigger pot because this the bottom of this pole is still visible on the top. And it's not gonna be see. Oh yeah, I don't I don't think it's gonna work like that. Mm -mm. But I like how it looks on this thing though. I don't have a bigger pot. Maybe this one. Oh no, it's too. I think this is too big, but so I don't have to. I don't have to repair it again for. Oh, did you see that? Oh gosh, I did it again. But I think it's dying in it. Because it looks nice. Oh, okay. So, I was actually trying to use this for my red emerald, but I think I have a, another one on the garage that will, it's a little bigger, but there's a three plants on that pot, so I think it's going to be fine. Okay, okay. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it looks weird right now, but if I put it in front of the grow light, I mean like a standing vertical grow light, it's eventually gonna, I mean all the leaves are eventually gonna face on that, on the front. So, yeah. Let's put it on the side here. Done. And oh my gosh! Ah, oh, do this smaller plants first. What will be out of the way? Okay. No. 
Let's check this. Oop. Yeah, there's nothing on it. There's a root rot. Oh no. Oh no. There's no roots. It's probably just gonna drive it. No roots at all. Hmm. Oh, it's fine. I'll use this. Just a little bigger pot. I need to water these plants right away because um, a little plants. I know this is easy to propagate. You can just propagate the leaves like just like a uh, begonia. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better this is the best that I can do with this mm -hmm. There you go, just need water. There. Put it away because I don't need you right now. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, the river vine. Oh my gosh, all of these plants are like struggling. See, this doesn't have any roots. This one has roots. No. So this one don't have roots. I can actually propagate this on like a prop bin. I think they go fast. Maybe on a moss. Let me get cut all the Let's see yeah I'll just put this throw this on a prop bin later I don't need to repat this right now because literally there's no roots I don't know because I water this I always drown this when I water it but it still act like this like the base of the plant right right up just put that there hmm. dead this one is fine okay this all oh, trash look at what So this is the part that I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use for my like that. Oh my gosh! Hopefully it don't die. Cause I also uh, yeah I got this from my plant friend, same as this one. I got them uh, really like starter plants, small plants, but. Oh, look at the roots it's little but there's a lot so uh yeah i'm gonna hang this on my um, plant shelf i need to put a uh, grow light on the top too it's fine You guys, it look nice already. 
Oh my gosh. So before I have the regular this kitty heart uh million hearts, but it was got infested with sparamite so I had to throw it in the trash. So this kind of plants when they get bugs, sparamite, whatever kind of bugs, it's so hard for for get rid of them because of their tiny little leaves so i think the best thing to do that is actually just remove all the leaves but i just put it on trash because you're making me wanna try forever i feel so free oh my sweet baby You guys look at that. Done. These hooks are damaged, so but it's fine. Because this is not really heavy anyway. So yeah, we're done for the this kitty here. Oh. Yeah. Next. Okay. Okay, this is the big part. I think this is eight or ten. Or maybe this is the 8 and this is 10. So, I'll show you. So, I'm planning to put this plant on the side, on the bathroom, on the side of the bathtub. So, it can, like, grow, climb up, or not on the wall. But, but I'm going to use this uh, pole that... I use the other one of this on my large monster upstairs. See that? It's long, but it's like really flimsy, I would say. Yeah. So right now I have a. Uh, my frosted heart syngonium on that side but i don't think that one is doing good in there i think those that plant need more light so i'm gonna move that out from that from the bathroom and put it somewhere else and then put this plant there I don't, that's why i don't like this kind like bendable because it's so hard to like straighten them we're doing it. Oh my gosh. There you go. Let's do that. And I, it's too flimsy, I would say, because it's, it's thin. Thin. See? And it don't stand up. Kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Wrongs 
know but it's gonna be on the like against the wall so i think it's gonna be fine uh, i need to water it yeah there's still a lot of space up to climb so we're putting it on here be very careful can you see the whole thing it's not stable but it's fine It to straighten yeah look nice but just don't touch it okay oh, a lot of work Okay, next I have three more to <laughs> uh, three more to repipe. So this one is Oop. Let's... Oh my gosh. What? Look at that. other one separately that one and then I'm gonna separate this because maybe the same mm. this one see okay
There you go. Um, okay, you guys. So I got two more plants to repot my two ficus in here. So I need to get more soil from the garage, and then I need to uh, clean this up a little bit. Because there's too much mess in here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean this up later when I'm done with all of the repotting. So, ah, <laughs> uh, this is my ficus benjamina, benjamina variegated, and uh, I I'm just gonna use the same uh The same pot. I just want to. What the? I just want to change the soil of this plant because. Look at that. I don't like the soil of this. They're like. It's like a clay, not a clay. But when it's dried up, it feels like it's a brick or something. So we're just gonna change the soil, but use the same pot. Yeah, this used to be such a beautiful plant. Uh, my husband used this, uh, I think, from Home Depot last, last year. And then I neglected it. Uh, but now I actually removed there's a uh, bamboo shelf there on his office before but that we're planning to put uh, grow light and all that but I didn't actually get to do that I remove it and now the shelf is upstairs and I just moved my my large ficus alii tree in there and then these two these two ficus the bambino and this benjamina because uh, i was neglecting all the plants in there uh, there's only four plants right now uh, the three ficus and then uh the what you call it uh golden potters so yeah it's only four in there so There you put it back on this basket. Put the side here. Oh. Oh. Baby, get up, baby. Let me get this. Okay, this is Ficus Bambino. And um, it's been on this spot for a very long time too like last year and i always forget to water it so it's actually just started to grow in new leaves but some of the leaves are I don't know if you guys can see are uh browning so it needs a new source Soil. I'm also just going to use the same pot because I don't really have a pot for What is that? Oh my gosh! 
can I see that? Like a big roots out of the pot. I need to cut it. Sorry. guys we're done finally and yeah uh <laughs> i've got here my red emerald you can see there's still lots of space for it to grow and i just need to water all of this put this on uh on the bathtub and then spray them with uh, neem oil and then uh sprinkle a little bit of systemic granules on the top of the soil so yeah, and this terrible vine, I'm probably just gonna throw this on uh, one of my prop bin on my plant room. And yeah, this one is so pretty, you guys. Uh, we're done. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I post two videos and two shorts uh, every week. So yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye.